Hello guys, this tutorial is about getting started with Heroku with Rails 5. Firstly, we'll create a Heroku account, then host a Ruby application locally, and then push it to Heroku. You need a Heroku account, so therefore open your browser and type Heroku. Click on the very first website to get into the Heroku website. You have options to sign up for free if you don't have an account or if you have an account, you can always log in. So after logging into your account, you will be popped up with a page which shows you a dashboard where you will have a list of apps that you have already created or else you can create a new app by pressing the new account. Then you can give the name of the app that you want to create. Now let's go to Heroku getting started where we will get the general idea of the softwares and the dependencies of Ruby on Rails that we will need to host it locally and push it to Heroku account. This site gives us the basic guidelines of getting started on Heroku with Rails 5. And the softwares that we need are, firstly for Ruby, we will need get to push a locally installed version of Ruby 2.2, then we will need RubyGem, Blender and Rails 5. And lastly, we'll need to install the Heroku CLI on your development machine because this will be used to view your logs, migrate your database, and you can create your own app. After visiting the Heroku CLI, you can see the Git installation processes also, where in this pages you can get how to install the Git. And then for Mac, you can use this command, Windows Installer, and Ubuntu this command to install the Heroku CLI. Go to the folder that you want to create and store the app applications. So use git bash if you have already installed git. And then let's test if the Heroku CLI is working. By typing Heroku login, we'll be able to log into our account that we have created on Heroku. You'll be guided to a Heroku login page where you can log into your account using the login button. And after that what we will do is if you have installed all the rails dependencies and ruby then we can now go to the next step of creating a rails application the new button is used to create a welcome app and it will be stored with a database of postgresql and we have a very good reason for using postgresql as a database because heroku does not recommend using sqlite and it's used for maintaining and preventing bugs from getting introduced now let's go into our app and try to host it locally to see if it is working. Using the rails server command, we will be able to see it online on the local, local port 3000 to see if our app can be hosted. So we can copy this and paste it into our browser to see our app has launched or not. So if it's working correctly, then this page will pop up. We can stop the application by pressing ctrl c now using the command rails generate controller welcome we will be able to create a location of the file where we can add contents to our web page so let's go to app then go to view then you'll see the welcome is added so create a new file let's add some content to the application web application so we have to save this as index .html because it's a HTML file and with an extension ERB. Then after that we have to provide the root location of this index file by going to the config and going to the routers RB file we have to add a new line which gives us the location of our root file. So after that we can use the servers real server command again to see if the page welcome hello world is added to our web page here as you can see we are able to add some contents into the web page so we are done with hosting it locally now let's try to push it to Heroku so for that what we have to do is first we have to see the version of the Ruby that we are using here I am using Ruby 2.615 so this is a very important step where we have to give the gem file the information about the ruby that we are using here it's provided to ruby 2.615 so if you don't have this you have to give the version number and mention it in your gem file it's a very important step as 
the Heroku will use it to determine which stack version to use to launch your application. So we can use Heroku create tutorials on Rails to create a new app on Heroku. So with the name tutorials on Rails, here you can see that the app is created. So if we go to deploy, we'll see the steps required for uploading the files on Heroku. So following this file, we'll be able to launch the app. So let's copy the remote location of this file and going to the git bash we will do a git in it to initialize the application that we want to send and give the remote location and then next we'll add all the contents that are present inside the file so we will confirm or we will commit the changes that and let's say we'll say it's the first commit then it's all is left all that is left is to push the file we'll use git push Heroku master as we have already provided the remote location so it's being copied to the Heroku application here the deploying is done so if you have some database you can always push the database but as we don't have any database to push we will simply open with using the Heroku open and with this you have successfully launched your Ruby on Rails application on Heroku and Heroku provides a URL for your application also you can open it using the open app also thank you for watching please subscribe to our channel